Mickey Mouse is one of the most well-known characters in the entire world. Today I'm going to cover 10 Mickey Mouse cartoons that made him an icon. Welcome back to Laffy Tunes, let's get into the video. Number 10, Steamboat Willie. What better way to begin the list than with the mouse's own beginnings in Steamboat Willie? Right out of the gate, Mickey made a splash with his cartoon debut. The short in question not only marked the first Mickey Mouse appearance, but also one of the first animated cartoons to feature both music and sound. Whether Walt Disney knew it or not, the cartoon would set the modern animated industry in motion. Number 9, The Carnival Kid. This cartoon gets an honorable mention for one simple reason. Where the previous entry was the first Mickey cartoon to feature both music and sound, The Carnival Kid had the game-changing idea to give Mickey a voice. Mickey's first words on screen were, Hot dogs, hot dogs, as he worked as a snack vendor at an outlandish cartoon carnival. The rest of the short is pretty much fair game for early Mickey, but it was still one that helped shape the character's career. Number 8, The Band Concert. Yet another first for Mickey, this time a short film made entirely in color. That being said, it was also responsible for one of the mouse's most famous looks, the band leader uniform. The short in which Mickey constantly attempts to conduct an outdoor orchestra with Donald meddling in the background would go on to be one of his most memorable, but the role would eventually evolve from leader of the band to leader of the Mickey Mouse Club. Number 7, Lonesome Ghosts. Of course, Mickey isn't one to hog the spotlight. His antics get more and more enjoyable when he's accompanied by his pals Donald and Goofy. While there were many considered for this spot, Lonesome Ghost gets the pick simply because of the harmony of humor presented by the three characters' different comedic styles. With Mickey's brave yet foiled attempts, Donald's spiteful yet silly style, and Goofy's appetite for slapstick, it's a recipe for success against the forces of the supernatural. Number 6, Mickey and the Beanstalk. This Mickey, Donald, and Goofy segment from Fun and Fancy Free puts all three of them in the role of Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk, but Mickey definitely has a starring role. It was one of Mickey's most daring and adventurous performances to date and would later shape his character as the decades rolled on. An additional and important point to mention here is that this feature would mark one of the last times his creator provided his voice. Number 5, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Although Scrooge McDuck might leave a short in the role of Ebenezer Scrooge, this Mickey Mouse feature is a piece of true Disney history. The festive film marked the first theatrically released Mickey Mouse cartoon since the 50s and helped establish Mickey as fans know him today. Disney's take on Dickens' A Christmas Carol not only featured Disney characters in the main roles, but also the last appearance of Clarence Nash as Donald Duck and the first appearance of longtime Mickey performer Ray Alwine. Number 4, The Prince and the Popper. In the same vein of Mickey's Christmas Carol, The Prince and the Popper featured the mouse in two literary roles as a poor street urchin who swaps places with a pampered prince. Although it's not exactly the Mark Twain classic, it still has that same breed of Disney fun. Plus, kudos to Ray Alwine for a distinctly different version of Mickey as the prince. Who knew the mouse could catch such a vocal range? Number 3, Croissant de Triomphe. 2013 saw Mickey get quite the impressive upgrade. Disney's Mickey Mouse series of short films served as a return to formula for Mickey, Minnie, and all their friends. Although he was given a fresh coat of paint in Paul Ruddish's comic book art style, the series still feels like Mickey everyone knows and loves, and it all started with this first episode, putting Mickey and friends on a stylistic ride through the beautiful city of Paris. Number 2, Get a Horse. Get a Horse is a marriage of two different visual mediums. It's a Mickey Mouse cartoon that blends the traditional with the modern, the classic and the innovative, and 2D and 3D animation. Mickey and friends practically rip themselves from the silver screen in this modern adaptation of black and white cartoon. Not only does it feature Walt Disney reprising the role of Mickey from the past years, but blends his past and modern styling seamlessly together. Number 1, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. If there's one Mickey cartoon that everyone should know, it's The Sorcerer's Apprentice from Fantasia. This role not only brought Mickey back to the big screen after the turmoil of World War II, but established the mouse as we know him today. Mickey in his wizard's regalia is one of the most recognizable images of his character, but his design courtesy of Fred Moore continues to be the standard by which all reinterpretations are made. It's still magical, even to this day. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long.